Hey, what's poppin' people? I'm K Cheer, and this is my channel, K Cheer Fishing. It has been a minute since I last posted. It was probably like it's been like two weeks or so. Um, our soccer team just got off our quarantine, and uh, we had to get all of our uh, district games scheduled. So I had five games in five days. So it's been really busy. Um. But I'm back, and as you know, today we have another banger. We are going to go over flipping and pitching. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I had the opportunity to learn a whole bunch about flipping and pitching, and now I'm going to share it all with you. So I'm going to go on to our boat, and I will be showing y'all some flipping and pitching. I'll just be flipping and pitching um, into the yard. Because um, it's real windy today and cold. So, see you there. Okay, so flipping and pitching. When you do flipping and pitching, you do it in heavy cover. Reeds along the bank are a good example. You would throw crawls. Um, you could throw trick worms, finesse worms. And you could throw, like, sweet beavers. Um, so, when you pull up to your spot against the reeds, Put your trolling motor down. Alright, so your trolling motor is down and then you're controlling it with your foot pedal. And what you'll do is you'll have it on a low setting, grab your rod, which for the rod, I like to have it with the real whippy in because it can get you some more elastic um, action so you can get it to the place that you want where you, where you want to go um and basically what you do is I, I have this rage crawl on and we tuck in the hook so it's weedless and what you do is you hold Slack uh, to your reel. You grab onto it in the top. You don't want to grab here because you're going to end up with a hook in your hand. And then you just flip it out um, 20, 20 uh, feet or so. Um, and then you get a few pops. Fish is not there. Then reel it back in. Now you can do that trolling with your foot all along uh, the bank. Raw tip down because that action up makes it um, makes it go far. And then you just flip it on out there. Or technically that's pitching. Now flipping is a bit different. So what you have is you have much more slack in your line about there. You lock your reel and then you grab the line just like this, right here. And then you move it down. And this is when it's really short, like when you're really close to the cover with the boat. So what you do is you just move your rod tip like that, like so, and this slack in your hand, you let it loose, like that. So it's only like 10 feet in front of you. Give it a few pops, no fish, come back. There's no reeling involved when you're flipping. You just let them slack loose on your line. So, right now I have a rage crawl. Rage crawl works really well uh, against reeds. Um, but if you're not getting anything on like rage crawls or sweet beavers, I made a video on sweet beavers, um, then you would go on to a finesse worm type thing. So I have a drop shot tied on, and I will show you all that as well. Okay. So right here, this is a drop shot. I will make a video on this soon. But basically, the hook is suspended above the weight. Um, this is a very finessey technique. You fish this a lot on spinning reels. Um, but when you flip, you want to use a bait caster. You always want to use a bait caster. Um, the type of line I like to use when flipping uh, would be braid, preferably 50 to 65 pound braid. 
for 20 pound floor carbon. So with the weight at the bottom, it gives that worm a whole lot more action when you move your rod tip. It gives it a whole lot more action um, for that finesse technique. You flip it the same way, and you fix this more in like a brush pile, other than uh, reeds on a bank. Um, and with that weight on the end, it doesn't have to be as heavy, because once it enters the water, it shoots down like a vacuum to bring that uh, lure in. So again, you hold your bait, rod tip down, and you flip it up to wherever you want to go. A good uh, way to practice is to get like a bowl or something to stand outside or even in your living room, and you practice flipping and pitching and to that bowl. So uh, flipping, the technique for flipping and pitching can be used all year round. Um, it's really good um, also in winter. I think it's the best time in winter because that is the time where um, you don't have a lot of options to fish. You can't, you can't go fishing like you normally do with a worm that you would uh, go in the summer, like a curly tail worm doesn't really work in the winter sometimes, except you live in like Florida. But um, flipping and pitching works really well in the summer, winter, fall, uh, just all year round. So that is all I have for you today. A quick re recap, um, you flip with crawl and beavers um, type bait. And if you're having a hard time with those, you can switch over to a trick worm or a drop shot, as I showed y'all. You want to have a very flippy, like a um, flippy rod. It's real loose, but you also want it to be um, long. It wants, it needs to be like a longer rod, so you have more leverage to flip where you want to go. Um, yeah, that's all I have. Uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon or 50 to 65 pound braid and that is flipping and pitching so there you guys go uh thanks for watching flipping and pitching um comment down below uh video ideas um like comment subscribe tell everyone you know about cage your fishing if they're into fishing and want to learn some new techniques um until next time, next time, peace.